Uh, I'm Tommaso and I'm Sophie and we are uh, Hovi and Mirabella Roberti. We are industrial designers and we focus on materials, uh, production techniques and sustainability, um, trying to combine uh, older traditions to modern trends as well as older techniques to modern technologies. I come from Milan uh, in Italy and I came to Malmo uh, two years ago to study actually in Lund where we met and we started working in our uh, practice together. And uh, yeah, we've been educated, uh, uh, not only design ways, but also social, socially wise by two completely different environments, uh, Italy and Sweden, on so many things. And that is reflected in our uh, practice. Uh. The first part of the column collection is uh, the table. And that was made during a competition, a collaboration between uh, Susav, Via Syd and Sustainable Business Hub here in Malmö. The challenge was to make use of the waste that uh, is thrown away in the recycling stations. We thought of using materials that could have a constant flow in the recycling station in order to potentially use them again and again. There's a lot of white metal pipes. There's a lot of unused tiles uh, from when people are making bathrooms and stuff. So the base of the table, it's this circular section made out of pipes that in our mind could be of any height and diameter as well. And uh, the good thing about the tiles is that they are always uh, uh, standard sizes. So we can have a lot of different colored tiles, but they will always be in those standard sizes. And we figured out a way to put the tiles together using other tiles on the back to make it in one single material to create any different type of surface, I mean dimension of surface. Because um, then it's easier to recycle if you don't combine. Uh, let's say if we would put it on wood, for example, then it would be quite hard to recycle. And that was like also a main point of the project that we wanted to keep the material separate. I mean, it's all about valuing the materials again and again and again and again, kind of. So we, we both got into porcelain through university, uh, actually, and uh, we both uh, really enjoyed it and thought it was a lot of fun and way of uh, practically expressing ourselves. Then, yeah, when we had the opportunity to work on porcelain again, we we went for it straight away, so... When we worked on the column table, we were really limited by uh, the brief. But when it came to the porcelain, we had completely free hands. Mm. And we still had this idea of the columns. Mm. Slip casting is a tradi traditional way mm. of making porcelain, and uh, 3D printing is a really new way of, uh, of uh, building stuff. And we thought it was really interesting to combine those two ways of uh, creating something. I really enjoyed the physical act of making porcelain, and but it's somehow nice that you have to go through these digital tools, and that those tools actually allow you to get a uh, finish that I would never get uh, just uh, through one very artisanal way yeah. and it's a nice way to combine and try to maybe not improve but get the best out of uh, old techniques uh, and yeah, more traditional techniques. Mm -hmm.